you have trouble specifying lightings for bathrooms? Do you know, 10 years ago, there was very little choice of decorative bathroom lighting on the market. So I began IP44.com to resource designers with correctly rated bathroom lighting. So let me take you on a lightning fast briefing on how to specify lighting for bathrooms with some hints and tips along the way. Well obviously water and electricity are not a great combination, so anything electrical in a wet area requires protection. Lighting requires an added level of protection the higher the possible risk of water getting into that fitting. The regulations divide bathrooms into zoning so we know where to use each level of protection. Well, zone zero is in the bath or in the shower that can hold water. 2.25 metres above the bath is zone one. And zone two is 600 millimetres outside of the zone zero and zone one. So that's 600 millimetres outside of a bath or the shower. So each of these zones specifies an IP rating a fixture must have. So what is an IP rating? IP means ingress protection and there are two numbers that follow the IP. These numbers correspond to the level of protection. The first corresponds to solids and the second to water getting into the fitting. So for example, let's take zone 2. Zone 2 requires an IP44 level of protection. The N4 corresponds to the level of protection that means splash proof. But when specifying IP44 rated fittings, do specify with caution. There are pre-tested IP44 rated lamp holders on the market, but simply attaching them to a fixture does not make the whole fitting IP44 rated. So to the more serious stuff, the aesthetics, and when we are designers after all, grab your ducks, we're off to the bathroom. So, bathrooms. They require just as much attention as any other room. So often you find them scattered with downlights, which in itself isn't a problem, but it's not the only solution. When I'm specifying downlights, I prefer to lower the level of light, and I find a 5 watt LED is sufficient in a 2.3 meter ceiling height. And I prefer to use a warmer light, about a 3000K, but in a cold white room, a whiter light is just as good. Well, where possible, downlighting is always best as reflected light, trying to avoid harsh overhead lighting. When lighting a shower, try to avoid the overhead single downlight. Rather, wash a wall with light. It will increase the feeling of space. So, we're in the bathroom. It's a place to relax in. We're bringing the light levels down. We want to lose the direct lighting and use accent lights or hidden sources of lighting. We need to build up layers of light, and one way is to use an LED strip where we can hide them under shelves, in niches, and along the edge of the bath, anywhere where we can have a reflected gentle light. Well, niches are often found in bathrooms because they increase the sense of space, particularly when lit. Here we can use stainless steel IP65 LED marker lights. They come in various sizes, and particularly if dimmable, we can reduce the niche to just a pocket of light, perfect for a relaxing bath. And well, bathrooms, after all, are a place of pampering, and a good lighting scheme can make or break a great bath. Let's try emulating using candlelight. Choose a colour temperature of about 2700K, and particularly if dimmable, we can bring that light level down so it's just perfect. Well, lighting around mirrors is important, particularly when there's, mm. there's a face to be lit. So how do we do this? Well, we could use an illuminated mirror. We can have wall lights either side of the mirror or a, a linear light above it. We could even use small directional LEDs to evenly wash the face with light. What we need to avoid is unflattering light with a downlight directly above, because it will cast a shadow over the sink. We need the downlight to be over the sink if we're going to use that to bring us a reflected light onto the user's face. We also have LED floor wash lights, where the source is low and comfortable to the eye. And they can also be linked to a motion sensor and be used as a night light, where we all could do with some help getting to the bathroom with one eye half open.